Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to cover a couple of ways you can use INI files to fix some common DAS texture load problems. So on the screen right now I have uh, Albany, you can find her under figures if you purchased her from the DAS store. Albany right here, uh, Genesis 8 female, and we're going to apply a couple of materials to her. I've just given her some typical hair and, and clothing. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and apply, uh, give her some different eyes. We'll type in eyes in the search field and just give her I04 there. And we'll go here and also throw in some uh, lips. Maybe lips uh, 06 will do the trick there. Just give her some nice rouge on her lips. And then some makeup, otherwise known as MU in the DAS library. Makeup, and we'll just choose uh, some heavy eyeshadow MU9 right here. All right, just a couple of additions to our character uh, to make her look a bit better. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and export this uh, character now to FBX format in order to import into Character Creator 3. So let's go to File, Export, and we'll just call her Albany. Okay. And make sure that you have all of these options here selected. Uh, do not embed the textures. Make sure you choose FBX uh, 2011 binary. And in addition to that, before export, you want to make sure as well that you go into uh, Character Creator. You want to just right click on anything in the content library, go to Find File, and you want to make sure you go to the Character Creator 3 template folder. And there is a DAS uh, folder somewhere here, DAS resource right there. And under T pose, you want to make sure you apply the Genesis 8 female T pose right here. So I'm going to click and drag that onto my uh, character in DAS right here, and that'll give her a T-pose. Make sure that you do that before you export your characters into Transformer. Okay, so now we're good to go. File, export, and uh, yeah, just Albany. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and accept. And once this is finished, we'll load her in a Transformer. Okay, we'll go over to the Transform or Character Creator 3 now and load up our character in the Transformer. So there's albany.fbx right there. We're going to choose advanced okay we're going to talk about uh, using the ini file to kind of uh, bypass a couple of important things uh, a little bit later on okay so now for our import options we're going to make sure we bake the body texture when you choose bake body texture it allows you to adopt the daz character's body skin eyes eyelashes teeth and nails so let's make sure we do that generally you want to choose 2048 but i'm going to choose uh, 1024 here just so we can uh, come up with an error message that we have a fail issue and uh, let's go ahead to change our hair to to loose hair and go ahead and press OK. OK, so once our character is loaded in Character Creator 3, let's take a quick look at the textures, particularly on the face. You can see the face is a little bit too smooth. There's not really any roughness or bump on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, skin head uh, material right here and go down further. And you can see that our base color map has a, has a face on it and everything. The diffuse map has a face. The bump and the roughness maps, however, do not. If you go ahead and we'll go ahead and just save this really quick. Uh, we'll just save the texture, the bump texture. And you can see I've already saved it here. So I'm going to take a quick look at these. Uh, if we compare them all, if I just go ahead and control and drag my mouse, I can go ahead and take a look. You see the bump and the roughness. There's actually no face in the middle. So what happened is our import did not bake the roughness and the bump maps for your face. So let's just go ahead and give this a cancel and go over to 3D Exchange here. So in 3D Exchange, this is what I, the FBX that I just loaded up, albany.fbx, the same one we exported. And you can see if we go to face, we just have the diffuse map right there. Okay, same thing for the body and everything like that. Uh, if we go down to, uh, where is it, torso, somewhere. There we go at the top there, torso. You see we have the diffuse right there. Let's just go ahead and select the face for now, keep it simple. And let's go ahead and try and find the file for our diffuse map. If we select Find File, it's going to load up that DAS directory structure that contains all of the different textures that you need, okay, for your character. And here you'll find the face bump and the face specular, which is going to change into the roughness map. So again, you can copy, you can add these in manually if you want. Um, but what we're going to show you right now is how to do this using an INI file. Okay, so let's go back into Character Creator here. And we're going to re-import using the transformer, but this time we're going to choose some different options. So I'm going to choose that Albany FBX again. We're going to choose advanced one more time. And once we get to our import status report here, we'll go ahead and bake the body texture one more time. We're going to choose max texture size 2048 this time. Okay, and this time we're going to generate a profile. So what this does is it generates an INI file. And we're going to save that INI file in the folder, the same folder that I'm saving everything else into just to uh, keep things consistent. Okay, this load an INI file. And we'll just call this one uh, Albany, okay, albany.ini, all right, not FBX, all right, so you can see INI right there, and go ahead and give that a save. Now, what we also want to do here, we want to change our hair, of course, to uh, the hair item, a hair type item, and we also want to go to our texture folder, and we want to find the texture folder. If I go open here, I want to find that texture folder that contains all of my character's hair and everything like that. So what you can do to find that 
What you want to do is find the folder structure that contains all of the original files. So again, you can go into back into DAS here. The easiest way to do is to go into DAS and go with your character selected. Go into uh, the uh, character under the character here under surfaces, uh, find the surfaces, and then just go into something like the uh, uh, torso. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just click under torso right there, and then you'll have all the the general textures, or rather the base right there, and bump. If you just go ahead and select bump, you can right click on that or just click on it rather up here and go to browse and that's where you find the folder. Okay, so just copy the folder structure right here, just like that. Okay, and we'll go over to character creator and enter in that folder structure right there. Okay, control V and just paste that and select folder. Okay, so make sure that that's our folder structure right there. And of course, we need to open up a, uh, let's go back into DAS here and open up a separate uh window with all this uh, with this folder stuff in it as well. We'll uh, paste that in our explore window here. There we go. Just so we have that uh, for to bring up easily later on. Okay and let's go back into uh, character creator here and let's go ahead and find that INI file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and right click this INI file and just open it with uh, notepad plus plus. Okay so what I generally use to do uh, the coding stuff. Uh, we don't need to update it for now, okay? And just go ahead and you can see here we have all the different maps, okay? So female arms, okay? That's all the texture maps for female arms. So the INI file basically dictates, you know, what's going to load. Um, what's going to load when you import the character using the transformer. And you can see for roughness it'll, on the arms, it'll say in, use embed texture, uh, diffuse, use embed texture, bump, it'll use embed texture, okay? So for the cornea, the ears all the way down here, eyes moisture, eye socket, a lot of eye stuff with Daz characters. Uh, female face, okay, so this is the one we want to focus on here. You can see bump, there's nothing. Uh, roughness, there's nothing. There's basically only diffuse, use embed texture. So what you want to do here is you want to add the, the file name for the bump uh, map and the, meta or the uh, uh, roughness map, rather, here in the face uh, section of your code, okay? So let's go over back to the explore window here. And we just need to basically copy and paste the names of these files, okay? So you can see uh, Albany face bump. We can just press Control A, Control C, copy it. If you want, you can right click it and go to properties. You can see it's a JPEG file, okay? .jpg. Okay, so let's go ahead and basically put that into the bump section here um, of the female face. So under bump, just press space and then Control V to paste that and press .jpg, okay? Okay, so now we have it loading this specific uh, bump map uh, for the uh, bump on the character's face. Okay, so we need to then add in the specular one. So let's go back to that uh, same folder here, our folder structure. And let's find the uh, specular map right here. So Albany face specular. Okay, just uh, right click, copy that, and then paste it here under specular. All right, press space, control V, and then dot JPG. Okay. So now we have the specular for the face and the bump for the face, okay, loaded in. And you can see everything else. So rough, uh, roughness down here, use embed texture, bump, use embed texture up here, okay, for uh, things like the uh, irises go to the legs, for example, roughness, use embed texture, okay, bump, use embed texture. And you can find those if you go into the uh, folder structure right here. Again, you can find all those right here. So there's specular, uh, there's bump, uh, those, full, those files will be loaded in automatically. Now, I almost forgot to mention as well is because the lips are using the same face map, we need to go down to the lips here as well. So lips should be right around here. We can just press Control F and just type in lips, I guess. And uh, find next, where are those lips? There we go. All right, so again, the same thing, a uh, couple below the uh, the face. So we need to uh, face specular.jpg. Okay, just copy this again right here. Right click copy and go down to lips. Paste that in the specular line right there. Go up and copy the one from the uh, bump map. Control C and down here to the lips bump. You can see it says, oh, there we go. Bump embed texture right here. There we go. And once you do that, all we got to do is go ahead and file save and close this down. So then basically what we have is an INI file and any files that the INI file refers to that are just JPEGs like the ones we just added in need to be contained within this folder. Okay, so keep that in mind. And once we're done that, we can go ahead and press OK to import. 
So now once you're finished importing, all of those textures will be baked. If we go ahead to our character and select the uh, skin head, for example, you can see now we have the correct roughness and bump maps loaded in along with the base color, okay? So you can see the uh, look, you can actually see the face kind of slightly faded in there on the roughness and the bump map. And that's exactly what we want. If we go to like roughness, for example, and we save this roughness, we'll just save it as a rough roughness 2, for example, and uh, give that a save. We can go into that same folder. Uh, let's just go into the structure here and see the difference in the roughness maps. So uh, load INI temporary textures. Here we go. So these two roughness maps, you can see the difference now between the old one and the new one. Okay. So that's how you can solve that issue using an INI file. And then in the future, anytime you load in Albany, just use that same INI file, the same uh, folder structure, and you should have no problems. Okay, so now what we're going to do in uh, Character Creator here is go up to the Transformer tool and let's load in our Leone.fbx that we just exported. And we're going to choose Advanced Import Options this time. Okay, and once we uh, finish, let's go ahead and uh, we don't need to save this uh, project right now. Once this loads up, what we're going to do is make sure that we bake body texture at the top. And that's going to be an option here. You can see bake body texture. And we want to generate a profile. So this is going to generate our INI file. I'm just going to paste in a directory structure here that I want to save my INI file to and uh, call it leone.ini. And what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and let's go into our uh, folder here. Let's just uh, paste that same directory structure here and so we can find that INI file. Okay, and let's load it up. You can double click it or right click it and load it in Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you use for editing code on your machine. And uh, you can see each material here has its own little section in the INI file. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing, uh, you can see uh, certain lines here, for example, I'll show you in just a moment here. The uh, We're going to load up the uh, texture folder for the character first from Daz. Okay, so for example here at the top, the arms, you can see under bump, bump equals, there's nothing there. So what we need to do is we need to uh, copy and paste the file names. Uh, for the bump and the specular maps on basically all of these individual material sections here, okay? So you can see female ears. Uh, we can see that uh, if we copy the uh, bump map, you can see it already has an embed texture there for bump. So we don't need to worry about any of that uh, for the roughness as well in the ears section, okay? And if it ever says in, uh, use embed texture, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, you can replace it, okay? But we're going to go ahead and copy the face right here as well. So the bump map for the face and the specular map for the face. And again, all you need to do is repeat this process for all these different material sections. So for the fingernails, they're gonna be using the arms map, okay? So you can see those little things in the middle there. Those are actually the fingernails, believe it or not, okay? Uh, so we're gonna copy and paste the uh, arms map, okay? Uh, and the specular map, uh, just file names in there. And so again, repeat the same process uh, for the legs. And what we're going to be doing is when we uh, uh, finally load this into Character Creator, there's a field option that'll basically prompt you to enter in the folder structure for this DAS character. You can see um, it's currently in a, in a DAS library, and we'll paste that in just a moment once we finish just uh, copying and pasting all these uh, bump and specular file names in here. Okay, so again, uh, we're going to go down all the way to uh, Toenails. You can see toenails, they're going to be using the uh, base legs uh, bump map there and the specular map. Okay, so make sure you're familiar with the names of your maps and where they apply them to your character, and you should be fine. And finally, the last one here is the torso. Okay, so bump map into the torso there and into the specular map there as well. Okay, and then just go ahead and save it. And we'll copy that uh, folder structure there, okay, from the uh, DAS character. And then in the texture folder, basically all you want to do is just enter in that folder structure there and make sure it's there. And change your texture size to 2048 and your Toulouse hair to hair and press OK. All right. And that's going to import. And uh, then you can see our character here with the dirt all over her face. OK. So we have the, uh, the dirt map, the diffuse map, and the bump and the roughness map for the arms. You can see there we have that for the body. OK. So it basically automatically loads those uh, texture texture maps in uh, when you create the INI file and specify the directory structure from which the original texture files from DAS can be found. And it'll automatically load those in. So then basically when you load that character in at any time in the future, you can just go ahead and select that INI file, the, the profile, and it'll load it in automatically. 
All right, so that's about all I wanted to show you in this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot. And uh, be sure to always check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.